Hello guys, this is Alexandre Zara and today I'm going to show you how to work with WIS, which is Workshop Instruction Software from Mercedes-Benz. What I love about this software is that it can be accessed either directly from the icon or you can access it from the EPC. Why I choose to do this way in the ac accessing from the EPC is that you can, well first of all, uh, let's say that we want to search for the accelerator pedal. We go over here, I've searched the VIN and then we choose group 30 which is controlled and again I have a pictogram of the accelerator pedal this is really nice I can right now click the start with because you'll see in a minute it will take me directly to the group which I'm interested in instead of having to search for all the documents and stuff like that of course this is in Romanian the first part of it it's not properly translated but whatever um, we choose to go with uh, regulation at chassis I think this is the proper one and we tick all these boxes repair diagnosis electrical layout that dat base data and organization and then we start the search yes this is it like, uh, like butter it shows removal and installation of the accelerator pedal it shows the components P37 accelerator pedal sensor basically this is the one which uh, suffers the most damage throughout the lifetime and S16 per 6 is the kick down switch kick down switch is somewhere around here and this point, uh, file number 2 is the nut this file number 1 is the nut cover and then Fine number three is the accelerator pedal, and then fine number four is a bracket, which is part of the this one. So step one, operation step for unclamping ground strap for battery taken away. Basically, um, whatever repair activity you perform on the vehicle, and it is related to the electrical system of the vehicle, it's recommended to. Uh, disconnect the negative terminal of the battery operation step two for um, basically you take the a look at the accelerator pedal you remove the plug unscrew the nut pull out the accelerator pedal we unscrew the nut pull out the accelerator pedal must not be disassembled uh, installation ensure that the recess of the accelerator pedal is located in bracket of firewall so basically uh, this one over here should be located properly in the that area. You'll see better if you um, take it down from your vehicle. Then unplug the electrical connector from sensor P37. Then, then unplug the electrical connector from the kick down switch. Remove the accelerator pedal installation in reverse order. And read out fault memory and erase if required. Connect to start diagnosis and read the fault memory codes. Over here you have a document number. If you click it, it shows how to connect the start diagnosis system to the to the vehicle. Basically what it tells you is that the um, 203 chassis has the OBD port over here. But the first generation of the 210 chassis had the oh, the port, the diagnostic ports over here. We don't talk about that, that's old stuff. Uh, you connect the OBD port and the proper cable then you connect the cable to the multiplexer then the multiplexer uh, connects through the one port in uh, in the in the laptop in the system and then also you connect uh, or at least no that's it the, the Ethernet port communication f uh, communication is established this is how it looks like um, yeah and then you do the diagnosis good that was the first part now let me show you how to uh, access the the WIS in the second way you do start it from the basically the icon <laughs> it starts then you can um, take the chassis VIN number you click it and you have a lot of groups a lot a lot of groups which 
can be very misleading at at first. Let's say for steering, for example, yeah. We go to steering and we click all here. Let's talk about the um, steering rack. And we hit search button. And then check and adjust center position on steering gear. It tells you how to do it. It has a marking, a protective cap, a marking, and it tells you exactly what to do, how to do it. It gives you pictures, it gives you everything, a lot of useful information. Going back, um, the servo pump from the steering, how to remove and install the power steering pump, it shows you over here all the needed information. So you have the EGR which you have to take off because that would be in the way and then you have the uh, the pulley, you have to take the V-belt off and then it's a couple of screws and uh, taking off some hoses. It tells you exactly the steps and you have a lot of documents on how to do every step if that's if you don't know how to unbolt the belt pulley, then you have two documents. Uh, one is for the 163 engine uh, vehicle, and the other is for the 203 vehicle. Basically, simple. Let's go over here to the inner tie rod shows you how to replace it. Again, documentation and everything else. Guys, um, the, the program is very uh, complex. A lot of information is inside it. I'm just scra scraping the surface over here. I can help you out on how to work with it, but I cannot find every specific thing which you, which you want to discover and discuss. So I'm gonna stop here. Thank you for uh, taking your time to view this video. Hope it helps and be sure to hit the like, share and subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so that you're alerted every time I post a new video. This is Alexander Izar signing off. Have a nice evening.